Andy Ruiz Jr. and Anthony Joshua heavyweight title bout. Remember, it's a rematch from June. Ruiz won as an 11 to 1 underdog. Much different line tomorrow. Joshua only minus 210 in the comeback plus 180. For more on this fight, let's welcome in the Hall of Famer, the inimitable Teddy Atlas. Welcome back, my friend. Nice to be back. So big story with this fight, at least to start here, is Ruiz weighing 15 pounds heavier than he did in the previous fight, over 283-ish. Makes me immediately kind of reminds me of Buster Douglas. Win the title, let yourself go a little bit. Do you think the extra weight slows him down? You can't speed him up. Yeah, that's a good point. You don't need Teddy Atlas here to <laughs> tell you that. You know, uh, he does have fast hands. Uh, you know, he'll still have two quick hands. But his endurance, does it slow him down in that area? Yes. Uh, as far as people, we're on a wagering show, so you're thinking about under overs. So you got to calculate that in a little bit as far as how much gas he's going to have in the tank, you know, to work. And what his workload can be. Can it be as hard as it was or as heavy as it was? Uh, using that word, I didn't mean to make a point right. out of it. But can it be that heavy early, or will he try to pace himself? That's what you have to think about. The round prop is seven and a half, slightly juiced to the over. Now, when you see an upset like this in the rematch, with the odds really corrected, it was no fluke the first time around. Do you expect Joshua to come out here and be strong? Yeah, you know what? I think there's something that means more than weight, that means more than punch numbers, that means more than left hooks, that means more than right hands. It's called redemption. You know, Joshua has to redeem himself here. And I'm betting on that. I'm betting on the power of pride and redemption, that he's got to live with himself. And that's something that really, uh, that's got to do with how he behaves in the ring. I think he's going to behave better. That's what it was the first time for me. It wasn't really about anything else. It was about he didn't behave like a fighter. He behaved like a guy who made too much money. Let's see how he behaves now. So he overlooked Ruiz in the previous fight? I think he overlooked him, but I also think that once he was there and once the moment was on top of him, he wasn't ready to handle the moment. Kind of like Marvin Hegler used to say, the great middleweight champion. It's hard to get up at 5 in the morning and do road work when you're sleeping in silk sheets. Kind of hard. <laughs> I know you know about that yeah, because of course, of you, course. you sleep in silk sheets. All these winning picks that. that I have. Yeah, exactly. No, but also you like, you like the minus 210 and over under 7 half rounds. You know, there's two ways you can go with the over under. Okay. You can say that being that he's heavier, Ruiz, obviously, he's going to go for the kill early because he knows he has nothing in the gas tank. He's going to he's going to get caught or he's going to catch him early. Or he's going to pace himself. I'm going to say he's going to pace himself. It's going to be slow. It's going to take also Joshua rounds to get confidence back, to start to believe in himself again. It's going to take us in past the seven and a half. Okay. Going with the over and the, like silk, Joshua. and the silk sheets. And the silk sheets. Teddy sleeping in gold sheets. Everything around his palace building this reputation. Teddy, thanks so much. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.